Are you leaving money on the table when you sell a home as is? Well, I'm going to cover the pros and cons to selling as is, so let's get to it. The current market is very competitive. I list a home for one of my customers and it typically goes under contract quickly, but there are still those homes that sit longer and there's a reason. The majority of home buyers I am working with are looking for a move-in ready home or a home in good shape with very minor cosmetic updates needed. But not all homes present this option and that is when a seller may consider selling their property as is. Selling as is means that you're selling your home in its current condition and that the buyers agree to take the property without the seller being obligated to make any repairs or improvements. Under Florida law, the seller will still need to disclose all the material defects that they know about concerning the property. That could be structural issues, water damage, past water intrusion, termites. Buyers still have the option to do their own inspections and definitely should. One of our most common contracts used in St. John's County, Florida is the as is purchase and sales contract. This contract defaults to a 15 day inspection period and allows buyers to cancel if unsatisfied with any findings in the inspection report. So what are the pros to selling as is? There is a potential for a quicker sale, but the home needs to be priced accordingly. When selling as is, the price is generally lower and you may attract buyers with cash looking for a deal. Cash transactions tend to close much faster because there's no third party lender involved. So if you have to move quickly, this is a great option to help you shorten the timeline to closing. Selling as is also saves the seller's upfront costs since no repairs are required to be made. This one is a trade off though because your home may sell for less than comparative properties. It is also fairly common that following the inspection, the buyer will still ask for certain repairs or renegotiate the price or credit at closing to compensate for future work needed, which may put you in a tighter position with both time and money. This leads us to the cons of selling as is. First, your house is going to sell for less than a home that has the repairs and updates made. An investor or flipper will be looking for a good rate of return on any work they expect to do and are savvy enough to calculate those costs into the offer price. A second con to selling your home as is, is that it will likely attract a smaller pool of buyers because not all buyers are willing to take on the challenges of updating a property or they suspect something must be wrong with the house. This may scare off your average Joe or Jane buyer from even considering your home as an option. And because most mortgage lenders require proof of the home in good condition, selling as is may outright eliminate the options for VA, FHA, USDA, or even conventional financing. Depending on how much your house needs, it might be worth doing some repairs to increase the value of the home and make it more attractive to a larger buyer pool, in turn giving you more money at the closing table. But if you are needing to sell quickly and are unwilling or unable to make cosmetic updates or structural repairs, selling as is might be the perfect strategy for your home. As always, I am happy to help you figure out what the best course of action might be for your property. Let's chat about the current condition of your home and what minor items are worth tackling before listing for sale to maximize your profit and minimize your time. If you want to learn more about some of the top return on investment repairs and renovations, check out this next video right here. You can also download the link below for instant access. If you want to chat, I'm here to help. So click the link below to schedule a call. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one.